Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back. Welcome home. It feels so good to have you here with me now. So, of course, as you can tell by the title of today's video, this is for my... Woo! All right, you guys are coming in with a punch, huh? Okay, this is for my Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and also my Cross Watchers. This video is definitely filmed in October and it's the October messages, but of course, as always, it's timeless. It's absolutely timeless. Let's dive in. Scorpio, what is going on? Hmm? What is going on? Talk to me. Talk to me. Did the death card is the first card to jump out. Um, I don't know why I'm not surprised. Scorpio, my loves, I'm not surprised. Uh, let me sit with this for a minute. Okay. Uh, something about with death, I'm actually, it's like spirit is saying, we're talking about death, but we're actually talking about life, right? Uh, okay. Wow. So I'm getting a vision. So I, I got a vision just now of my dog. Her name is Nova. I called her Nova because she's dark. She's dark, beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, you know, what is, what is a Nova? A Nova is the birth of a new star, right? But something about that, um, I feel like the reason why I'm getting a vision of my pup is because her name is Nova and Spirit is telling me clearly about there's this pull of creation from what has been, uh, dead, what has been pulled away, what has been imploded. Interestingly enough, my loves, my Scorpios, I just finished the Libra video, the Libra messages, and they too, interestingly enough, they too are in a space right now of rebirth after massive destruction. So I would not be surprised if there's some interesting connection between you and them the reason why is because Libra's destruction was something so separate from them. It was really separate from them. It was, it was, had nothing to do with them, but the destruction that was happening all the way over there ended up being their massive blessing. Scorpio, you are similar, but opposite. Your destruction is coming from internal. It is giving me, I'm, I'm getting this like suction. I'm getting this suction and I'm getting the suction from the sacral, the solar plexus down into the root. So it's showing me that you are being pulled. It almost feels like you're, forgive me for being like a uh, graphic, um, but it's almost like your insides are getting kind of like pulled down. And what this is creating is a suction. And what this shows me is something is truly uh, being activated into your life. Something is definitely being activated from the death. It's almost like how a black hole is created in, in the, in the universe. I'm pretty sure that's how it works where a, a star dies, something massive dies and creates this gaping hole that pulls in. And then a, a, a black hole is created like a, 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 and then a new star can be born. Scorpio, that's what it is I'm seeing for you. And I am seeing this in the form of your energy. So it's definitely giving me Kundalini vibes, um, the Kundalini awakening. And the reason why is because I can feel this, it's starting, oh wow. Then you also have the two of cups at the very base of your reading. It's starting at the root and focusing on the lower portion of your chakras, the, the lower portion of your energy, your energy points, your major energy points. This shows me, Scorpio, that there has been, whether you recognize it and realize, recognize it or not, I feel like you definitely have somewhat of a sense of this. There has been some major revelation, some major truth that has created an activating point within your, within your reality, within your energy right now. Okay. Um, this could be for some of you guys, I'm seeing you walking away from it. it okay. Woo! Sorry guys. I'm trying to like do it one step at a time, but I'm getting flooded with a lot of information. So this massive change, this massive uh, oh trigger, well, it's actually been triggered f from an event, an event that's happened in your life that has set this into motion on a spiritual and energetic platform for you. So for some of you guys, you were, you could have been working in a career, having a major, 
like majoring in something and all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're just like, I, this is inauthentic to me. Or you might have a, a goal, something in mind, something you've been working on, and then you realize this is just an expectation. It's not your actual purpose. For some of you guys, you are stepping out of a disordered disorder and moving into divorce, a disordered relationship. For some of you guys, it's actually, and I'm, forgive me for saying this, the death of something, something very, very close to you. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. And for, I'm hearing the words, unfortunately, I hear the words, a child. So something about these re these massive revelations like it's a trigger a massive trigger within your life is forcing this suction of opening and cleansing of an old uh an old life that you once lived it doesn't matter if you're 90 it doesn't matter if you're 14 it doesn't matter if you're 33 there have been if not one or a few major tr triggers that have set into motion, set into place this cathartic opening of your energy chakras, you know, your e energy chakra points, these, these energy portals within you. And what this is doing is it's activating your sense of security, your sense of identity, your self-worth, your self-value, your, and also I just heard the word contribute. Spirit is started you on this path on what you contribute and how you contribute along this path. And regardless of what has been pulled and separated away from you, you have, as you're being pulled and separated from and it's a very painful thing. I'm talking to you like this is like we're grocery shopping at uh, Whole Foods or something. I'm talking and I don't mean to to keep it so light because it feels very, very heavy. It's like some it's very painful. The Kundalini painful process. Wow. The Kundalini process is something that is the Kundalini awakening is a very, very painful process. And I don't know if you guys have ever looked into it, but I've actually had my own Kundalini um, you know, awakening. And it, it's something that is very traumatic. It could come from, it could stem from an, an accident. It's always from something that just shakes us to our core. And that's what gets that energy starting to rise. So right now, my loves, I'm seeing this in your lower portions. I'm seeing this in the lower points because spirit is wanting you to ground first and to stabilize first into a higher, a higher, a higher power okay, into the divine. Um, I want to talk to you. This is something that I did not do for the other signs, but I feel really called to do this for you guys. I want to talk to you guys about what cards just jumped out for you. You have Wizard of the Wood Woods and you have Elves, Playfulness and Focus. As wild and as crazy as this transformative uh, phase and stage of this Kundalini awakening within you has been, they want you to focus on play. They want you to focus on joy. They want to focus, want you to focus on the good moments, not where you're looking at the past and where it is that you've come from, but you're looking at having, um, having inviting in people like playful energy if you can. Uh, but also, I'm also seeing, um, I'm rem being reminded that this is. Spirit is reminding me to tell you about children learn through play, especially when it comes to sick, like when it comes to our own healing, we, the playful part of our ourselves that we allow ourselves to play is very potent in our own healing. Um, the sacral and the solar plexus is our connection to our ability to be playful and to be creative. Um, so the more that we allow ourselves to experience that and to explore that, the more we're able to heal those aspects within, our, within ourselves. Also, <clears throat> on another level, our ability to play means that we are safe, we are secure in our environment, in our, in our circumstances around us so that we are able to be playful. If there has been a lot of intensity around you, and it clearly has been with this death card here, if there has been a lot of intensity around you, it is time for you to dunk yourself, almost baptize yourself and support yourself in joyful presences of things around you. And as conflicting as that feels, because this is very intense, spirit is still guiding you towards that and wants you to focus on that right now, because that is going to be so cathartic and healing and soothing for you. 
Um, something about the play, the playfulness is going to open up a door for you that feels forbidden and feels taboo, but it's absolutely essential and necessary. There's a reason why it does feel taboo and, and forbidden for you. Two of Wands. Okay, Two of Wands. Something about that spirit. Speak to me about the Two of Wands a little bit more. Wow. Ten of Cups. And then this card wants to jump out. Page of Pentacles. So spirit is truly wanting and guiding you into a space baby steps they're saying baby steps small wow god everyone's getting the tower card so something definitely shook you to your core shook your safety shook your confidence shook your belief or faith system and spirit or what can happen and um even as we look at the ten of cups right now this person this couple is they're kind of like playfully pouring you know enjoying their time together so i definitely see that for you guys where you're kind of allowing yourself to sit for a minute. Oh, goodness. Yep. Put everything on hold. Two of Swords just jumped out for you, Scorpio. And then also Three of Wands. Three of Wands. This is allowing them, allowing it to come to you while you are still. And then we also have Page of Wands here. So something is definitely coming in. We have two pages here. We have Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles. There is definitely a message on the horizon for you. Um, but I feel like this message is actually going to come from within. So sometimes we look externally for a message to come, come, come through. I feel like this message is actually going to come internal, um, through your playfulness. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, pages are notoriously very immature, but also very optimistic. Spirit is awakening in you, your ability to be optimistic about the future, to be optimistic about what's to come, regardless of what it is that you've gone through. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Wow. Oh, Ooh, I felt that. Okay, so the cards that you have are Butterfly Spirit, Transformation, and Crystal Cave Trust. That is so powerful. That is such a blessing. It says really trust in your own, trust in this transformation right now. Trust in the uncomfortability, you know, like trust in how tight and tense things have been and how trust your heart, even though it's heartbroken or even though it might be scared or even though it might want more or even though it's being challenged or even though you might be second guessing your intuition trust your heart and lead it back into a higher space of love and be open and jovial that spirit is giving you its time and attention right now because there's so much of you wow this card really want to jump out the temperance yeah this is about allowing yourself to be still in this transformation allowing yourself to be transformed and when we think about the butterfly it actually stays within the cocoon for a minute and turns into total goo but there's this trust and surrender and allowing yourself to kind of melt down which you're either in it or you're walking out of it scorpio allowing yourself to be completely melt down and to focus on your how it's going to feel to fly free again how it's going to feel to um, you know, co-create with the universe, which you're actively doing right now. But for right now, they want you to focus on your root, your play, your safety, your security. Trust is really giving me, especially with this cave, it's your ability to trust where you're at and be confident in where you're at and to be secure in where you're at because this is where this massive transformation is going to come. And with the 10 of cups here, you guys, it's going to be a blessing. It's going to be abundant. It's going to give you your happy feelings, all of those things. and But there is a message that needs to come through as far as what you need to hear, feel, experience, see, sense in this moment right now that will help you to, I don't know, I don't, I want to say mold, but allow yourself and allow the situation, the circumstance around you to be molded, you know, where you're at right now. So Scorpio, I hope this message resonated. I hope it made sense. You can definitely visit me within the Bahati Life Apothecary, bahatilife.com slash shop or bahatilife.com where you can find all of my fixed candles and work with me one-on-one -on -one for creating your creating your custom candle or, or an intention oil. We also have a full moon coming up, thank God. We also have at the time of me filming, Pluto and Saturn are finally moving direct. So those really heavy doors 
that have been just wedged shut for, for far too long, it feels, are starting to swing open. So this is an amazing time for you to start manifesting and magnetizing your blessings and your intentions towards you. Okay? I know I'm going to be working my magic, so feel free to sit with it. Yeah. The cup that just jumped out for you, or the card, is the Five of Cups. And it says, don't allow your energy to be depleted. Allow yourself to be filled up. Allow magic and allow your blessings and allow spirit and allow your guides to work for you on your behalf because you're not meant to be in a half half, half reality. You know what I mean? It's meant to be Ten of Cups, fully filled. So let's work Let's let's work to make that happen. You guys, again, you can always meet me at BahadiLife.com. That's the only place where you can find the authentic magic that I work all the time um, and every other thing that would be available to you. Until then, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. This is a home base. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.